What's up guys, today my friends, I've got a video for you where we're going through every single rare cosmetic inside of the game. So this is what I like to call the ultimate guide to rare skins inside of Fortnite, as if you want to know if you have any rare skins inside of your locker, this list right here has every single pickaxe, glider, emote, back bling, and skin inside of the game that is rare. This is only including item shop skins as, you know, battle pass and season shop skins such as the Renegade Raid and the Black Knight. Everyone knows they're rare already and it's not really a surprise. But these are all the item shop skins, you know, um, that haven't been in the item shop for a very long time and that are becoming, or if not, a rare inside of the game. Some of these items we haven't seen for 180 days, some 250, some 400, man. It's just over, over a year, some of these skins. And it's just absolutely insane. But ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be really cool. So if you enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button as well, subscribe to the channel, and also go ahead and chuck on the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our videos coming in the future channel. But that way no longer, let's go ahead and begin this video right now. Now I'm going to have timestamps below in the description showing every single part of this list. So there's going to be a timestamp for gliders, pickaxes, emotes, outfits, and back blings. So make sure you guys check that out. But first of all, we're starting this video right now with the rare pickaxes inside of the game. We have a fair few of these, actually. Right, so out of our pickaxes, first of all, we have the Slam Dunk pickaxe, which is a part of the basketball set, which comes with a glider and two basketball skins. The Slam Dunk is a pretty rare pickaxe, probably the rarest item shop pickaxe inside of the game. The rarest pickaxe is probably the Rage Revenge, but that's a part of the Season Shop, of course, so we're not adding that onto this list. It's been over 184 days since we've actually gone ahead and seen the Slam Dunk, which makes it the rarest item shop pickaxe inside of the whole entire game. Next up, we have the Tendril, which has only ever been in the item shop for one time, I believe. Um, and this came out with the Flytrap skin, and bro, it's a pretty ugly looking pickaxe, if I'm going to be honest. But man, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. But it's really rare. It's been over 147 days since we have gone ahead and seen this pickaxe, which once again makes it one of the rarest pickaxes inside of the game. So if you have this, you're definitely lucky, as you know, we haven't seen it in a very long time. The pile driver is next up, and this came with the Dynamo skin and the Masked Fury skin. Now, this is one of the ugliest pickaxes inside of the game, in my opinion. It's been a very long time since we've seen this. August 22nd was the last time we saw it, which is like over 147 days ago inside of the game, which makes it one of the rarest skins, of course. One of the rarest pickaxes, I should say, whatever you want to call them. And next up, we actually have the drum beat, which came across in the hippie set. This is, you know, a little bit less rare than the pile driver. However, man, it's been over 129 days since we've seen this pickaxe, dude. It looks kind of bad again. Like, there's a pretty common theme with this. They all look kind of bad. I kind of, I quite like the slam dunk, honestly, though. Um, the drum beat, it's not the best looking pickaxe. I wouldn't say it's the worst either. Um, not a big fan of it, but it's starting to get pretty rare. So, if you guys have this pickaxe, GG. But next up, guys, we have the Elite Cleat, which came across with the uh, soccer skins during the FIFA World Cup that happened during 2018. It's been over 112 days since we've seen this. Also, the Vuvezula. I can't even pronounce it, man. Let's just call it the V pickaxe, man. And okay, this pickaxe, um, the Elite Cleat and this pickaxe both haven't released in over 112 days. And they both, of course, came out with the soccer skins when the soccer skins came out, of course, during that um, FIFA World Cup event. And these are starting to become rare as well because who knows when we're going to see these back. I think when we see the soccer skins come back, we'll also see these pickaxes come back. Now, an OG Season 1 pickaxe, the Death Belly, is also starting to become pretty rare. It is last seen 109 days ago, man. This has been in the item shop for such a long time. It was one of the first ever pickaxes in the item shop, I believe. And, dude, it has just been one of the pickaxes that has been around for a long time. However, for some reason, it's just randomly becoming rare. The bottom feeder is also next up, and this is our last rare pickaxe, and bro, it's been over 105 days since we've seen this one, and of course, man, it's starting to become very rare, of course, and I don't even remember this, I don't think it's a part of any set, I think it's just a random pickaxe, and it honestly doesn't look too cool, probably uh, doesn't look too bad, I mean, it's probably one of the best pickaxes, if not the best pickaxe on this list, and yeah, guys, that is all of our pickaxes right there. Next up, we're going through the rare gliders. We have some really weird ones here. This is like probably the, just the most random rare th things in the game. The modern. Like, what is this? What is this glider, man? Haven't seen it in ages. Been over 260 days since we've seen this glider. It's just a random plain old glider. That's probably been around since around season one. Maybe 2017 Fortnite was the first time we saw this, man. Hasn't released in a very long time. Like, almost probably three quarters of a year since we've seen this, dude. Absolutely insane. Like, crazy. If you guys have this, like, honestly, GG. I don't know why you would buy this uh, glider, but if you did, man, I, I, I would say it's worth it now. The hang time is our next glider on the list. It's been over 184 days since we've seen this. Just like I said with the slam dunk. Um, because they're obviously a part of the same set. Usually skins with the same set, you know, release together and stay rare together, I guess. 
The Raptor is our next glider. Once again, one of those random weird gliders that are for some reason rare. It's been over 162 days since we've seen this. The Windbreaker is another glider that we haven't seen in over 150 days. It came out with those like 80s looking skins like the Arabic Assassin and the Mullet Marauder. That's when we first saw the Windbreaker. I'm pretty sure there's only ever been in the item shop once. Um, I think the Aerobic Assassin and also the um, the pickaxe, I think it was the exercise pickaxe, have both returned to the game, but this Windbreaker has not, and it's continued to stay rare. The Venus Flyer, just like once again, as I said with the Tendril, they're a part of the same set, and we haven't seen them for over 147 days, and they've only been in the item shop once as well. Also, again, the Tie Die Flyer, they released uh, with the Drumbeat and the Hippie Skins, it's been over 129 days since we've seen them, and just like with our last two gliders, these have only ever been in the item shop once. The Safe Cracker is our next glider on the list, and this came across with the Getaway event. Of course, we saw it with the Wildcard skin, and it was a part of that Getaway event. I think this is going to continue to stay rare until, or even, it, we might not even ever see the Getaway event again. And if you have this, man, congrats to you, because this is a really, really rare glider at the moment, and it's going to continue to becoming rare. And Fortnite, I don't think I, they really have any intention to bring back the Getaway event, so maybe it'll stay rare forever. Who knows? The Goldbound is our next glider obviously came out with the soccer skins during the fifa world cup event it's been over 112 days since we've seen that glider lastly we have the solid strider which is just like the raptor in the modern man it's just a ram glider i haven't seen it in over 104 days inside of the game they are our rarest gliders inside of the fortnite item shop now next up we have all the emotes now i'm just going to go ahead and just list these out and say their last seen date because you know there's not really much to say about emotes they're just emotes they're not usually part of a set there is a couple that are but let's go ahead and get into this we have an emote called the flapper which is one that a lot of you guys like i like this person myself it's been 169 days since we've seen that emote also the confused emote i'm pretty sure it's just like a really cheap um, I think it's like only 200 V-Bucks for the Confused Emo. It's been 138 days um, or more since we have seen the Confused. Also, the Baller. That's kind of a part of uh, the Hang Time and, you know, the Slam Dunk and the Basketball Skins. And, you know, it's been, once again, 137 days since we've seen this. Um, a little bit a little bit less time. This is released a couple more times than, of course, the Hang Time and the Basketball Skins and stuff. But it is still pretty rare. On the hook, we also haven't seen that in 124 days. That's just another random, random, really random um, emote that is rare for some odd reason. The Kiss Kiss, haven't seen it for 118 plus days. I'm pretty sure this was a part, first released with the Valentine skins, and um, yeah, we haven't seen it in over 118 days now. The Rocket Spinner, it's been 106 days since we've seen the Rocket Spinner, man. This was a really hyped up, we actually saw this one leaked and people were really hyped up about it. We haven't seen it for over 106 days. Also, the Rocket Rodeo, which is kind of similar to the Rocket Spinner, um, as they're both like hologram emotes. Haven't seen that for 113 days either. The red card was, of course, a part of that soccer event that was going on. It's been 175 days since we've seen the red card. The thumbs up and the thumbs down, both another 200 V-Buck emotes there. Um, 138 days since we've seen them. Rock, paper, scissors. It's been 114 days since we've seen the rock, paper, scissors. Then the go, go, go. It's been 103 or more days since we've seen that emote as well. Now, lastly, guys, we have the outfits and back blings. I'm kind of putting them together as some of the outfits come with back blings, and I'll name them and stuff. So the first skin that we have here is the fly trap. The last time we saw it was 147 days ago, and this is a pretty rare skin in the game. Just, of course, like the other items that were in the set, like the Venus Flyer and, of course, the Trend Tendril Pickaxe. They've only ever been in the item shop for once, I believe. So, yeah, it's been a pretty long time since we've seen them. The wild card plus the cuff case back bling. Two really rare skins. I think these are only going to continue to get rarer as they are a, a part of that uh, exclusive getaway event. And I think they're going to stay exclusive to that event. And these skins are going to keep staying rare until that event does eventually. Maybe it will, maybe it won't return inside of the game. The Triceratops and the Hatchling, also another rare skin and back bling. Haven't seen these in over 105 days now. And they're starting to definitely get really rare. The Ghoul Trooper, of course, probably the rarest skin um, inside of the game, or at least one of the rarest skins inside of the game. It's been 408 days since we've seen the Ghoul Trooper. You guys know this is rare. We all know it's rare, man. And yeah, it is probably one of the rarest. I think it's the second rarest item on this list. Or I think it's maybe the second, third, something like that. The two hippie skins are next up, man, and this is the Fire Out Man and the Dream Flower. Um, and this comes with the Summer Strummer back bling and the Hip Shaker back blings. And, dude, we haven't seen this in 129 days. Once again, just like the Fly Trap, it's only ever been in the item shop for once, ever. So that's crazy, dude. 
the Mullet Marauder, um, the Ari the Aerobic Assassin, which you guys get mixed up in some of my videos. The Aerobic Assassin has released, you know, a couple of times again in the item shop, but the Mullet Marauder has not, guys, okay? It hasn't been in the item shop since it first released um, 150 days ago, but the Aerobic Assassin has, um, and I think also the Pickaxe, the Axe Size Pickaxe has as well, but the Mullet Marauder has not. The Recon Expert, this is the rarest skin in the game. 424 days since we've seen this. Crazy, man. It's very rare. The Codename Elf, of course, we all know this is one's rare as well, as it didn't release during this Christmas. It's been 344 days since we've seen that one. Also, our two basketball skins, the Triple Threat and the Jump Shot. 184 days since we've seen both of those skins. Also, the Recon Scout, just another random, ugly, weird skin. For some reason, it's rare. 122 days since we've seen the Recon Scout. Also, we have all the soccer skins. Um, the last time we've seen these were 112 days ago. I'm, I'm sure these are going to return in the future, but at the moment, they are starting to become pretty rare. The tracker skin, 296 days since we've seen this. Just like I said with the Recon Scout, it's a weird, random, rare skin. I don't know why it hasn't been released in like over, over 296 days, man, but it's becoming pretty rare. Sergeant Green Clover, another rare skin, exclusive to St. Paddy's Day 2018. Um, the last time we saw it was 275 days ago. We have the two American Independence Day or 4th of July skins, the Star Spangled Trooper and the Star Spangled Ranger, which we haven't seen in over 189 days. And lastly, we have the Crimson Scout, which was a part of the Chinese New Year, um, Lunar Year, whatever event inside of Fortnite Battle Royale. It's been over 131 days since we've seen that one as well. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to end the video. This is every single rare skin at the moment inside of Fortnite Battle Royale. Um, and yeah, guys, man, these skins, hella rare. If you have any of these, count yourself lucky as you have some of the rare skins inside of the game if you have any of the skins on this list. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out to today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure you smash like button as well as subscribe to the channel. And also go ahead and chuck on the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our videos coming in the future of the channel. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.